good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in the book of Ezekiel in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And we are in chapter 20. Now, the elders of Israel are going to come to, Jer uh, to Ezekiel to inquire of the Lord. Bad idea. Let's see. Chapter 20. And it came to pass in the seventh year, in the fifth month, the tenth day of the month, that certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord and sat before me. Then came the word of the Lord unto me, Ezekiel, saying, Son of man, speak unto the elders of Israel and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, are ye come to inquire of me? As I live, saith the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. Wilt thou judge them, son of man? Wilt thou judge them? Cause them to know the abominations of their fathers, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, In the day when I chose Israel, and lifted up my hand unto the seed of the house of Jacob, and made myself known unto them in the land of Egypt, when I lifted up my hand unto them, saying, I am the Lord your God. In the day that I lifted up my hand unto them, to bring them forth of the land of Egypt, into a land that I espied or searched out for them, flowing with milk and honey. Now a land flowing with milk and honey is a very productive land which is the glory of all lands. Then said I unto them, Cast ye away every man the abominations of his eyes, and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. But they rebelled against me and would not hearken unto me. They did not every man cast away the abominations of their eyes or which were before them. Neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then said I, I will pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. This is when he wanted to destroy them. But I wrought or acted for my name's sake that it should not be polluted or profaned before the heathen among whom they were in whose sight I made myself known unto them and bringing them forth out of the land of Egypt. Wherefore I caused them to go forth out of the land of Egypt, and brought them into the wilderness. And I gave them my statutes, and showed them my judgments, with which if a man do, he, sh he shall even live in them. Moreover also I gave them my Sabbaths, to be a sign between me and them, that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctified them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They walked not in my statutes, and they despised my judgments, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. And my Sabbaths they greatly polluted or defiled. Then I said, I would pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them. But I wrought, or acted for my name's sake, that it should not be polluted before the heathen, in whose sight I brought them out. Yet also I lifted up my hand unto them in the wilderness, that I would not bring them into the land which I had given them, flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all lands." because they despised my judgments and walked not in my statutes, but polluted or defiled my Sabbaths, for their heart went after their idols. Nevertheless, mine eyes spared, them from, spared from destroying them, neither did I make an end of them in the wilderness. But I said unto their children in the wilderness, Walk ye not in the statutes of your fathers, Neither observe their judgments, nor defile yourselves with idols, or with their idols. 
I am the Lord your God. Walk in my statutes and keep my judgments and do them. And hallow my Sabbaths. And they shall be a sign between me and you, that ye may know that I am the Lord your God. Notwithstanding the children rebelled against me, they walked not in my statutes, neither kept my judgments to do them, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. Excuse me. They polluted my Sabbaths. Then I said, I would pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the wilderness. Nevertheless, I withdrew my hand and wrought on for my name's sake, that it should not be polluted in the sight of the heathen, whose sight I brought them forth. I lifted up my hand unto them also in the wilderness, that I would scatter them among the heathen and disperse them through the countries, because they had not executed my judgments. But they despised my statutes and had polluted my Sabbaths, and their eyes were after their father's idols. Wherefore I gave them also statutes that were not good, and judgment whereby they, they should not live. And I polluted them in their own gifts, and that they caused to pass through the fire all that openeth the womb, that I might make them desolate to the end, that they might know that I am the Lord. Therefore, son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Yet in your fathers have I have, excuse me, yet in this your fathers have blasphemed me, and in that they have committed a trespass against me. For when I had brought them into the land, for which I lifted up mine hand to give it to them, then they saw every high hill and all the thick trees, and they offered their sacrifices, and they presented the provocation, provocation of their offering. There also they made their sweet savor and poured out their drink offerings. Then I said unto them, What is the high place whereunto ye go? And the name is called Bamoth unto this day, which means high place. Wherefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers, and commit ye whoredom after their abominations? Now this whoredom is is um, going after false idols and being unfaithful to God. For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire, ye pollute yourselves with all your idols, even unto this day. And shall I be inquired of by you? O house of Israel, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you, and that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all, that ye say, We will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries, to serve wood and stone. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out, I will rule over you, and I will bring you out from the people, and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered, with a mighty hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out, and I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face, like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. So will I plead with you, saith the Lord God, and I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant, and I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that trespassed against me, excuse me, transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and shall and they shall not enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. As for you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, Go ye, serve ye every one his idols, and hereafter also, if ye will not hearken unto me, 
but pollute ye my holy name no more with your gifts and with your idols. For in mine holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord God, there shall all the house of Israel, all them in the land, serve me. There will I accept them, and there will I require your offerings, and the first fruits of your oblations or offerings with all your holy things. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out of the people and gather you out of the countries wherein ye have been scattered, and I will be sanctified or hallowed before you, hallowed in you before the heathen. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall bring you into the land of Israel, into the country for which I lifted up mine hand to give it to your fathers. And there shall ye remember your ways and all your doings, wherein ye have been defiled. And ye shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that ye have committed. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. And when I have wrought with you for my name's sake, not according to your wicked ways, nor according to your corrupt doings. O ye house of Israel, saith the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face toward the south, and drop thy word toward the south, and prophesy against the forest of the south field, and say to the forest of the south, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will kindle a fire in thee, and it shall devour every green tree in thee, and every dry tree. The flaming fire shall not be quenched, and all faces from the south to the north shall be burned therein, and all flesh shall see that I, the Lord, have kindled it. It shall not be quenched. Then said I, O oh, Lord God, they say of me, Doth he not speak parables? The Lord had Ezekiel deliver messages in different ways. Sometimes it was like pantomimes. Sometimes it was uh, like by example. And this time it's like parables. Are they to understand what I'm saying? Um like help me out here lord this is this is this is a tough one and as always i love you